Yeah, I have two solo records out. The first one came out in 2004. Uh, I just had all this music in me, and I knew that it, I had to get it out there somehow. So I had these demos I made at home on, on crude demos, some on a four track, some on an eight track, whatever. And I asked Ty if he would like to make the record with me, if he would help me produce it and the whole thing. And he said, and he said yeah, I'd love to do that. So we're on tour and I gave him the demos to listen to. And so he went to the back of the bus while I sat on the front of the bus and listened to all this music. And the whole time he's back there, I'm like completely going out of my mind thinking, oh my God, he's going to come back now, tell me, yeah, I don't really see much in your music. It's kind of, well, I don't, I don't want to say stupid, but you know, we'll, we'll make something happen with it. Okay, all right, we'll, we'll try. That's what I was, that, that was my fear. Freaking out completely. And finally he comes back up to the front of the bus and he was so excited. He told me, man, this stuff is great. We're gonna make every second of this record great. So that's, that's the start of the first record. It's called Come Somewhere. And uh, that record is basically this, the songs exactly as I wrote them. You know, the parts, the structure, everything. And uh, with Ty embellishing with a guitar and other sound and whatever else. But everything on that record is basically me. You know, harmonies, everything was just the way I, I, I put the songs together. And then in 2015, I had another set solo record to come out called Love and Scars. And I did that whole record with a friend of mine named D.A. Carcos. I call him Dan, because that's his name, Dan Carcos. <laughs> and, uh, and we completely collaborated on that record. I brought all the songs to him, and uh, he put himself into them. Sometimes they turned into something I had no idea they would turn into, but always better. And uh, some songs were exactly as I wrote them. But that, that record is different in the sense that it's a total collaboration, whereas the first record, the songs were basically just as I wrote them. 